What is the difference between liniments and poultices? Mm. Is one stronger than the other? Are there different types of liniments and poultices? Is it required to use paper, plastic wrap, and bandages with liniments and poultices? Also, does climate or weather affect the effectiveness of liniments and poultices? Also, <laughs> thank you for changing the world four hoes at uh. a time. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> Emily. And changing the world four hoes at a time is our mission. Yeah. So thank you for noticing. Well, those are some serious liniment poultice questions. She really, I don't know that I can answer. <laughs> she really got in there after it, but then I feel like she was like, but also, Thank you guys for being great. Mm. And so she's trying to butter you up maybe, to maybe. jump in and answer all those questions. Poultice me up. So <laughs> when I think about liniments and poultices, and I think about them frequently, um, I think of liniments as like Ben gay for horses. So it's that icy, hot feeling. Mm. So it's a cool mm -hmm. flash and then heat. And then because there's heat involved, it, it increases, they increase circulation, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to use a liniment on something that's acutely injured or mm -hmm. a traumatic or a fresh uh, wound or injury or lameness, unsoundness. The liniment's more for, I want to sort of jumpstart my horse's circulation mm -hmm. or after a particularly tough workout, you know, I maybe want to um, give him, make him feel better, refresh, invigorate, and I can use a, a body wash or a brace or even read the label, but rub full strength over a certain body part that I know is particularly sore or a little bit um, not inflamed, but maybe a little bit swollen or bruised or something. Mm -hmm. So I, I think of him as, um, something to sort of pick you up and it's it's stimulating. And if you smell any of them, they're quite stimulating, right? That's one word. <laughs> Poultices, on the other hand, are more for that acute injury. Mm -hmm. So if I come, like we had a horse at our barn last week that was fine on one day and the next day we came out and her leg was big and warm and swollen and um, we had the vet out and so the, the first 24 to 48 hours we're like, let's slap a poultice on it. You know, so we, we used uh, 20 minutes of cold therapy mm -hmm. and then we put a poultice on and then we wrapped it. So I use poultices to sort of draw out heat and swelling, whether it's on a limb, they're great for feet, for hoofs, or like for packing a hoof if you have a, a bruise or an abscess. So they're more of a, a treatment of the acute. Okay. So liniments, more chronic sudden inju injuries, or just, just for, for soreness and stiffness, and poultice more sudden acute. Okay. Do you, what's your opinion, what's your stance on the paper, the plastic wrap, the bandages? Oh, well, if you have experience in using liniments and poultices under wraps, if you know how to set up a leg, if you understand when you want a cold, wet poultice versus a, a hot one or a dry one, by all means, we have plastic wrap, we can put a, a wet um, brown paper wrap on them. If not, this might be a topic for your, next time your vet comes out and say, mm -hmm. can you show me how to do to keep my poultice active and wet for 24 hours? And he'll say, all right, well, so he'll, he or she will say, let's, let's ice down or cool the leg, let's get it wet, let's apply a thin layer of poultice, then let's apply maybe a quarter inch all the way around. Then we've got a bucket with our brown paper, poultice paper soaking, we'll wrap that than a regular standing wrap. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the, the wet way. But great question for your vet to ask him when it's appropriate. Also, re and I've said, I think this is my third time, to read the labels because some products are appropriate for wounds and open skin, many aren't. Mm -hmm. So don't use them inappropriately. Some liniments can't put under a wrap. They're just too, what was the word we use? Stimulating. Um, other, other liniments are made to put under a wrap. Mm -hmm. So you have to read the label. And so that answers the part of the question, are oh, there different goodness. types of liniments and poultices? Oh. Yes, lots of different types. Yeah. Active ingredients matter. Yeah. Read the label. Ask mm -hmm. your vet if you're unsure what's right for your horse mm -hmm. and the method that you're using to apply it. Great question. Does climate or weather affect the effectiveness? Do we have any opinion or research on Th that? That I don't know. I mean, it seems like it. if you're in a humid area, things would seem to stay wet longer. Um, if you're in a hot area, then maybe a liniment's more appropriate to, you know, cool the horse off after a workout. So 
that I think is up to personal preference and just individual what you notice. All right.